All right, Gaming Still Fun Part 4 will hopefully be the last video of the series unless something else comes up. Pros and cons. Let's get the cons out of the way because I don't want to spend too much time on it. Rage quit and Extreme Game Rage. I'm going to get the Extreme Game Rage out of the way first. Everyone gets everyone gets mad at while playing a video game. Everybody loses. Not everyone's going to win all the time. I get that. But when you get to the point where you rage and you take an object and you throw at somebody, let alone hit somebody, especially a, a, a child or a baby over a damn video game, I have a, I have an issue with that. Yokiko Sakata, who was arrested last week for striking, let alone abusing his three-year-old daughter. That's a video I did, and you can check it out. I'll put a link in the description box. Stuff like that gives the Christian moms, let alone the soccer moms, and the most politicians who don't like video games, period, it gives them more ammunition to try to regulate video games. They'll do anything to say, oh, video games made him mad or whatever. Come on, people. Use your damn head. It's common sense. There's just too much lack of common sense, bullshit, and everything. Excuse my language, but it just drives me nuts when people fly off the handle and do something as, as silly and inconsequential crap is not inconsequential consequential crap is that because they don't use their brains if you want to punch a wall punch a wall if you break your hand that's on you if you want to slam your controller on the ground do it if you break it guess what you're going to have to go out and buy another one unless you bought it you bought two or three or four or five if you can afford it if you want to throw a plastic bottle like a Powerade or a water bottle around in a fit of rage, do it. You're not hurting anybody. But to strike at a child or a baby or innocent bystander, or not innocent bystander, just an innocent person just walking in a room for no apparent reason, let alone over a damn video game, it's just stupid. Let alone get into a fight over a video game, 20, 22 stabs. I mean, I, I heard that story like a few months ago. It's just ri ridiculous. Ridiculous. Uh, rage quit. There's just been, people just rage quit far too much. Uh, let's see. When a player ditches out of a game because they're extremely frustrated with the game's outcome. That's the best way. That's the that sums up quite nicely, according to uh, Urban Dictionary website. I have been on a team that has been spawn trapped far more times than been on the team that spawn trapped the other team. Okay, it's not fun at all. For the most part, I don't quit. I don't leave the match. But if it gets to the point where the other team's just playing, just having this cheap tactics. And a horrible lag, and the players on my team don't want to play the objectives. That's where I'm chucking up the deuces. I'm out. I'm not playing any little damn games with y'all. I ain't playing no silly games with y'all. I'm not. <clears throat> so, how can we fix that problem? Stay in there and take it. If you suck in that match, do better. Uh, extreme gaming marathon. I don't have a problem with, you know, getting together, having a little charity for like hurricanes and natural disasters and all this other stuff. Uh, raise money and all this other stuff. I don't have an issue with that, but when it comes to the extreme gaming marathon, I'm talking about people who. Play video games for 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 hours, sometimes 100, if if, the, if you can imagine that, without taking a break. If your body is telling you, remove yourself from the couch, remove yourself from the chair, remove yourself from the video game, just for a moment, just stretch, crack your knuckles like I'm doing right now, 
Go to the bathroom. Take a whiz. Blow up the bathroom. Get some food in your body. Get some liquid in your body. Do something. It, it'll be worth it, man. Don't sit there and play video games without taking a break. You're asking for trouble. You might as well pick out a casket because you're going to die. I mean, you hear these type of stories too much. I mean, it happened in, what was it, in, in Asian countries like Japan, China, Taiwan, uh, South Korea. It's just ridiculous. And it, shoot, it happened here in the United States. A 16, I think it was a 16 year old boy locked himself in the room for four days, four days straight without a break. None. Playing with his Xbox 360, a little marathon over, you know, Modern Warfare 3. I don't know how anyone can play that game that long without losing their mind. Whew. And the parents had to take the uh, Xbox 360 out of his room. But then again, it's the parents' fault because should have checked on him. Bust down the door. Do something. So... Play video games at least an hour, take a break, they get back on, and so forth. Gaming franchise being run to the ground. For me personally, it's Splinter Cell, Ninja Gaiden, Call of Duty, for the simple fact that other, I mean, like gaming companies trying to make the games a bit easier for the newcomers, which is understandable, but when you make the, what when it comes, to, when it gets to the point where it's, Every year, like like Black Ops, I, it was easy, but not like, you know, Modern Warfare 3 easy, like throwing at BS Mechanics or Uncharted 3 and all the other stuff, I mean, Crisis 2. That's where you got a problem, a serious problem. Um, and plus, you're, you're alienating your longtime hardcore fans of the series and, and I found an article and I'm gonna put a link in it in the description box and it it says it all hardcore gamers you don't matter uh, pros uh, esports I don't mind e watching esports like fighting games or or sports I mean, uh, football games it's it's fun to watch EVO 2012 was really really great Especially with Virtual Fighter 5 Final Showdown Grand Finals and Kena Fighters 13 Grand Finals, it, it, it was just great. They're fun. They're more fun to watch than first-person shooters or any shooter games from esports because it's just boring. It's so boring. I mean, everyone's using the same damn weapons all the time. It's like, really? So, uh. A little story on the uh, we, there's this like a local tournament. I went to visit my my sister and my brother-in-law about six years ago. They had an arcade at the mall, and they had Soul Calibur Four. We were supposed to they were supposed to have a tournament. My brother and I signed up. That coming Saturday, in the same week, we were ready. Guess what happened? They cancel it. The participants and the parents found out that the employees of the who work at the arcade were going to be in the tournament. That's where they say, ah, oh, hell no, kill all that noise. We quit. That's not fair. That's unfair advantage. And they gave us our money back. And my brother was very disappointed. I was mad. I didn't care who I was facing as long as I was having fun, my, watching my little brother having fun. That's all it counts. And the, everyone had to get so butthurt over it, they just cancel it. All together. It just... Yeah. But hopefully we get into a local tournament in the future. It doesn't matter which game is it. Madden, Soul Calibur, whatever. Underrated games such as King of Fires 13, Virtual Fighter 5, Final Showdown, Alpha Protocol, Shinobi. I know people complained about that game a lot for the simple fact I didn't have a checkpoint. That was my main gripe. Uh, the game is just too hard for many, for I don't know why, but 
it took me a m entire month to beat it, I, but I beat it. I beat that game over six years ago. So if I can do it, you can do it. So gamers are finding more games than they like, and they say, "Hmm, this game didn't get a lot of a lot of attention, a lot of love and respect. It solely deserves." And like Sleeping Dogs, I'm definitely going to check that game out. Infamous 2, Hopefully, I buy that game in the future as well. So, now as for the comic book, toys, and series, when it comes to Transformers and Batman Arkham series, Rocksteady has done a superior job for, for Batman versus High Moon Studios for Transformers. And plus, Batman been better in the terms of the movies, except for Batman and Robin versus Transformers, directed by Michael Bay. Everyone knows that. And uh, honorable mention, joining a gaming club slash clan. It's a blessing and a curse. I've been with Mature Gamers Club for five years. They're, they're a great group of people over there, man. They're great. They don't play Call of Duty and Halo all the time. They play a different variety of games. If you all decide to join there, tell them the SA-17 sent you there. The curse... Uh, people who can't take an opinion. I know who they are. I'm not going to say it for the simple fact. Don't want to bring drama. I already got enough drama in real life. Don't need to bring it on the internet. I know who that clan is. I know who they are. So, I love gaming. It's still one of my favorite hobbies, but I feel that there's just too much BS, too much politics, garbage stuff so in lack of common sense people just need to start using their heads you know and with that throwing the peace sign you know what to do SA 17 I'm out peace